Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another video today. Today's video is going to be a recipe video that I am very excited to share with you guys. It is currently 12.30 on Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday. Wednesday afternoon. I just showered. My hair is wet. I got a late start to my day, but I need to get this taco soup into the crock pot so that it is going and ready for dinner tonight. So this recipe is one that I actually made up myself. I tend to look at other recipes and like look at recipes online and think, oh, I don't like that ingredient, but I want to add this ingredient or whatever. So this is one of those where I just sort of have tweaked it over the years to sort of what it is now and what I've found out that we like. So this is a crock pot meal, but you could of course do it on a pot on the stove. That would be quicker, like a lot quicker. So if you are one that like works all day and doesn't have time to throw something in the crock pot in the morning, you definitely could do this in the evening when you got home. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on this crock pot chicken taco soup. The first step for this is literally so easy. All you need is some chicken broth. I tend to use the 33% less sodium one, but you could use the full sodium one as well. And then some chicken tenders or breast. I'm using tenders because I feel like they will be easier to shred later on. So all I'm going to do is go ahead and throw the tenders into the crock pot. I have it set on high. And then I'm just going to add the whole container of chicken broth. And then I'm also going to add some of my favorite taco seasoning. This is the Spice Lab taco seasoning that you guys know I love. I've talked about this before. You get it at Costco. So I'm just going to sprinkle some of that on as well, sort of do a double take here so that I can get everything going. And that'll just flavor the chicken stock up. And that is the entire first step. So we're just gonna go ahead, let the chicken cook. And then once it's done, we will come back and add more ingredients. After the chicken has cooked for about two hours on high, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it into my standing mixer using the shredding attachment and go ahead and get it all shredded up. This only takes about 45 seconds to a minute in this mixer, so it is definitely the easiest option. But you, of course, could use like two forks to shred it or even a hand mixer to shred it. Um, you know, whatever is easier. I've done a hand mixer before where I just like stick it down in with the broth and everything. And that works pretty easy as well, but I just love this mixer. So after I get it all um, shredded up, and like I said, it took about 45 seconds, I'm gonna go ahead, take the bowl off, and you can see it's all nice and shredded up. And then we're just gonna add it back into the crock pot um, with the salsa and the, oh, not the salsa, with the chicken broth and the taco seasoning. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and add the salsa. I had salsa on the brain. Um, so if you guys remember, I picked up this Chi Chi's restaurant style salsa in my grocery haul on Monday. I had never tried the, the Chi Chi's brand before. Um, and I can't really attest to it now either, just because all I've had it is in this form, like mixed into soup. So I'm gonna have to buy a thing of it and give it a shot on its own. Somebody said that it was their favorite type of salsa, so it's worth a shot in my book. I went ahead and diced up a whole onion and two green peppers, and I'm adding that straight into the pot, and I'm gonna give that a good stir. And then I'm also gonna go ahead and add in a whole can of rinsed and drained black beans. And again, you could add whatever vegetables you like. This is just what I found my family likes best and what they like eat when I make it. <laughs> if I put certain things in there, they don't eat it. Um, and then the last vegetable that I'm going to add is just some steam fresh golden white corn. You could obviously use canned corn, a corn on the cob that you pulled off, whatever. Um, this was just easiest. So I used probably about a cup of corn. We are not or I am not a huge corn lover, but I did want to add 
some in because I know that Chris really enjoys corn. Um, but if you add too much, it will make it starchy. So this is what it looks like after all the vegetables have been added. And at this point, it really just needs to cook long enough to tenderize like the green peppers and the onions a little bit so they're not super raw. Um, so I usually just end up cranking it down to low at this point and letting it sit for about an hour to an hour and a half before we eat dinner. Okay, so it has been a couple of hours. The vegetables have been cooking and it is looking absolutely delicious. I love how the chicken has just basically fallen apart. This is going to be so, so delicious. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how we serve it up. Um, and then we are gonna get to eating this amazing soup. Okay, so serve this up, we are just going to slather some in a bowl here and then we just like to top it with some shredded cheese I like to use this shredded cheese here this one that we get from Sam's Club and I should have opened it trying to do it with one hand there we go so we just top it with some of this Mexican melting cheese along with a dollop of sour cream. I really should have gotten my tripod out for this one. And then we will use some of these cantina thin chips to sort of dip in there. So that is our taco soup. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, this recipe video. Give this one a try because it is seriously so delicious and it just hits the spot, especially this time of year when it's hopefully going to start getting colder soon. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys on Monday for a grocery haul and meal plan. I'm going to take you to the store with me this time and show you sort of vlog style me shopping. I'm pretty excited to try that out. Until then guys, I'm going to go eat my soup and I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Bye guys.